Let's start things off in D.C. where Jazz in the Garden is returning to the National Gallery of Art Sculpture Garden this year after pandemic related cancellations in 2021 and passes for the season's first show became available earlier today. Hey, fellas, cheap date alert. Hey, if you can get passes, the shows are always free. Now, you're likely going to have very little privacy, but you can't be drinking sangria and listen to world class musicians at sunset on a Friday night. Hey, don't ever say I didn't put y'all up on game. The free tickets are on a total of 10 Fridays from May through July, and they will feature everything from violinists to vocalists and Afro Brazilian sounds to bluegrass. It's like they went on Spotify and put every single genre in their preference. That's every genre except for comedy, because you know, when comedy breaks out, people flee. As somebody who has been to Jazz in the Garden, I highly recommend it. The only advice I will give, stay out of the fountain down there. Hey, hey, just trust me. I say that because there's a good chance every body of water near the National Mall has goose poop in it. Y'all have seen it. Just listen to the music and leave the nasty sitting water alone. I chose this next story because it's a creative life hack. Even though it backfired, as well it should have, a kickball player in Rhode Island named Gianna Pecchia was banned for life from Tinder when the dating app found out that she was using it to recruit new teammates. Now, that is brilliant, but it's also messy. Imagine a team where half the players are only there because they swipe right on the same person. That actually kind of sounds like a decent reality show. That kickball team is going to have more drama than Fleetwood Mac. Now, according to Tinder, they told Gianna, quote, you can go your own way and banned her because it's against the terms of service to solicit other users, which which is a little confusing, uh, admittedly. So you can propose random hookups with strangers. But if you ask them to play kickball, that's too much. Now, you know, Tinder only found out because somebody thought they were showing up to a date with Gianna and snitch because they got ambushed by a kickball invitation. And quite frankly, I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Some of us have been there before. You have no idea what Tinder is like before an election. I blame Tinder for the great drought of 2016. To all Tinder users, if the person you match with asks you to wear comfortable shoes and meet them at a middle school baseball field, it's a trap. She don't want you, bro. She just thinks you look coordinated. And she might be wrong. The only way y'all are going to kick it if she rolls a big rubber ball at you. Now I picked this next story because it's inspiring people all over social media. Undefeated boxer Terrence Crawford shared a video of his seven year old daughter Talia running in a track meet where she lost her shoe at the start, then put it back on and still won the race. Let's go, Lele. Let's go, Lele. Let's go, Lele. This is the definition of never give up. Now imagine how bad she would have beaten those girls had her shoes stayed on. Hey, she got heart just like her father. Although I do feel bad for the other girls in the race who were doing their best. That definitely would have been me, only to find out their best wasn't good enough even with a head start. Little Talia might have still caught them without the shoe. So to the kids who lost, you know, hopefully they use this as motivation to improve. To Talia, congratulations and keep doing what you're doing because I'm definitely going to watch this video next time I look at those ratings at 7 p.m. and who's ahead of me. Hey, Pat Sajak, I'm coming for you, old man. I'm going to send you an L. And finally, I had to include this last story, and I didn't even have to buy the vowel. This last story because it's too great, and we all deserve to see this. A Best Buy staff has drawn praise for their defensive stance against a group of would-be shoplifters in a video that's been shared all over social media. Hey, look at this. Look at this. My man in the khakis is my favorite. He got down a three-point stand. Look at him. Look at him bouncing. Look at him bouncing back and forth. The commanders could use some defenders like this. They got to be the best flag football team in the strip mall because this was some excellent coverage. Even the man from the Geek Squad was ready to get in on the tackle. Hey, he ready to reboot their operating systems the old-fashioned way. This video brings me so much joy. You saw my man on the left. He bouncing around like that. That man has some intramural experience. I haven't been this happy since the last time a Best Buy employee laid hands on a would-be shoplifter. The only place of business on earth 
with nicer hands than Best Buy is definitely Waffle House. There you go. There you, matter of fact, you could put a whole team together with Best Buy. If this was the Waffle House staff, all three of these shoplifters would be in the hospital. They came for iPhones and left with eye masks. Thanks to men in khakis. My favorite story, now I got half of mine to go with tender justice. Is nothing sacred, people. But you know what? I'm going to go with the Best Buy Cover 3 defense against those shoplifters because their manager is better than a lot of defensive coordinators in the NFL.